Hey folks, thanks for joining the video. I wanted to make a quick video um, explaining a couple things. Uh, lately I've been showing you a number of add-ons that I've been running. And one of the add-ons, which is basically payware, is uh, Orbix Global Orbix Vector. Now currently the simulation I'm running is Prepare 3D version 4.2. Initially, a few months ago when I was running um, Prepare 3D version 4, I went ahead and installed Orbix Vector and noticed that my elevation uh, for a lot of my add-on airports was uh, incorrect and basically unusable. Um, so today I went ahead and installed Orbix Vector again, did the auto scan to see if it would fix any of the airports and uh, my primary one I fly out of, which has Latin BFR scenery for Key West, was fine. But when I came to 29 Palms, which I can't remember if this is Latin BFR, whoever makes this uh, 29 Palm scenery you can find on SimMarket or, or any of the uh, prominent third-party add-on developers, the scenery was still wrong. So flying with a group of guys on... Um, on joint FS uh, which is uh, I'll post the information they have been updating the airports and creating a profile config file that you can go ahead and install into the Orbix vector by going to the configurator and loading this profile what's basically going on is that pizza who has been doing this is updating the airports as we find out which airports are neg negatively affected with elevation discrepancies for Orbix Vector. So the latest uh, profile he's finished was you know late February and I went ahead downloaded it from our site and of course it did fix this airport because prior to me installing the file the airport was still wrong. Uh, elevation was scattered all over the place and it was unusable and then I went ahead and used his latest profile and uh, install that into the uh, Orbix Vector configurator and it's fine. So now we're in the airport and we are sitting in this uh, FSX Blue Angels F-18C which I have ported over and I'm still working on it. Uh, you guys pretty much if you watch the videos you've seen that I've been adding uh, little fixes for this aircraft. I'm pretty much done with it now. But uh, long story short, we're at 29 Palms, we're sitting in the aircraft, and this is pretty much what the airport looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, it's Mr. Tucker in the background, I'm going to go ahead and taxi and we'll take off and just take a peek at what the scenery looks like from the air. So we'll go ahead and pan out, and uh, this is really nice scenery, um, not super expensive. But I have to uh, admit that it is probably some of my fa favorite scenery for a small airport. So, again, this aircraft is freeware. And uh, I spent some time pouring it over. I know the guys that developed this aircraft are still working on it, working on the flight control systems and, and basically redeveloping it for 64-bit, which is, you know, what prepare 3d version 4 is so um, just a really nice airport and um, just a place I'd like to fly out of a new touch and go so great for uh, single engine or twin engine jets um, and again you can find this probably at sim market or flight one or any other uh, of the well-known you know third-party uh, payware sites so as you can see I used uh, the aircraft configurator to load three uh, tanks and some AM 120s and a couple of AM 9s and now uh, we'll get back in the airport aircraft and taxi down and take off but so far the scenery looks good you know all the special effects for the airport are working there's dust storms and uh, a lot of the vehicles that you see driving down the road are part of the scenery, the trucks, the cars, the people walking. Uh, it's just, uh, it's well done. And I've, I've already, you know, spoken about the scenery prior to this. But for you guys that are running 
um, web expector and having issues with your uh, elevation make sure you check out the links in this video and uh, we can direct you to you know the uh, guys from uh, this flight community that I fly with and uh, pizzas files can sort you out and uh, maybe you'll find some guys to fly with they fly in join FS they fly FSX steam edition so there's a lot going on with them. They're active, very active community, and uh, I'll post the information again in the video. So we'll get out of here real quick, and we'll keep this video short. Uh, just love this scenery. I've been also using another program called uh, Reshade, um, the latest version of that, along with uh, the PTA uh, tweak, which you know you can do a number of things. I haven't made an in-depth video of how that works but at some point I will I just wanted to get uh, you know this situation with elevation uh, for this airport which you know this is like my Key West airport it's one of my go-to places and I really enjoy flying out of here so I was kind of disappointed when I had to deactivate Orbix Vector which you know I basically paid for because this airport was negatively affected with elevation changes so but we seem to be sorted now, and uh, I can use it. Key West seems to be okay. Uh, that's looking good. Clear right, clear left. We'll go ahead and taxi out. And again, you know, this. Uh, if you guys are interested in this aircraft, check out my videos. I explain more in depth on what I did to get it working, and uh, it'll at least give you a baseline of what you might need to do. This is not payware, but. Uh, it's as far as I'm concerned it's payware quality so you know uh, if you have uh, a little experience tweaking or modifying files or whatever you probably will be able to figure it out if you don't you can watch videos on YouTube and uh, they'll get you sorted so I started years ago and kind of taught myself certain things and I was able to uh, enjoy the sim a lot more by actually getting some things to work that weren't working because the developers were too busy or, you know, they just had given up on the projects and the projects were basically where they were. So here we go, folks. Kicking some serious ass. Full afterburner. Uh, Going to rotate. If I don't crash, whoa. So anyways, I was having a brain fart looking at uh, the dog. So looks pretty good so far. Gears up. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to hit it looking back at the airport. Nice view. Yeah, there we go. And you can see some of the effects. Uh, wind tip vapor. And in fact, if you look very closely between the uh, two tail fins, you will see uh, some exhaust uh, effects coming. Uh, well, there it is right there. You can see that right there. It looks pretty good, don't it? So if I don't crash into a mountain, we'll go ahead and uh, just fly. I don't know what the actual coverage is for the scenery, but... It looks pretty good. I think this may be part of the 29 Palm scenery, but uh, this aircraft has some sound effects when uh, you overstress the aircraft. I mean, I could probably deactivate more of them. I have de deactivated some because they're basically a little aggravating to me with the way I like to fly. I'm not. Uh, into 100% aircraft anymore. I just want to get in and kind of get the sensation of flight a little bit and enjoy some of the eye candy. So, so here we go. We'll do a slow flyover at the airport. Coming out of throttle right now, you can see. Ooh, coming back on the throttles. And we're going to line up and uh, just go over. So it's not looking bad. A little weather out there. You guys can see some of that. So, uh, update real quick. I just got back from South Carolina. I was down there seeing my brother. and um, He was involved in that accident. And kind of messed him up. Messed himself up pretty bad in a can am spider. Uh, so, he still has more surgeries. And uh, the leg issue is pretty serious. He could still lose it. Uh, he ended up. Um, acquiring a uh, staph infection when he's in a rehabilitation center and uh, that has caused him a lot of grief so uh, 
basically his leg looks like it's been bit by a great white shark his right one I mean they his body's pretty banged up he's got lots of scars on his body now but um, yeah, you know, it's uh, I guess the price you pay sometimes when uh, shit goes south. And here we are, twenty nine palms. This is the flyover. Looks pretty nice. Can actually hear birds chirping, but that's just part of the scenery. So there we go. We'll go ahead and come back around. And we'll land this puppy. I think there must have been a truck or something. Yep, it was. Did you hear that? So. Yeah, and we're going to just do a short little final and put this puppy back on the runway, and then that's it. This video is done. So I had to mute my TeamSpeak. I am actually on TeamSpeak with the guys, and, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to stay focused on a conversation when you're making a video when you can see the effect here. You see this effect right here? This is part of the effects for the scenery, the dust storm. It's kind of a nice touch. But uh, you can see the difference. This is the actual scenery that you're paying for, and this is the default. This is all well, big specter and global, which, you know, is an improvement over the standard scenery, but it still doesn't look as good as, you know, what they've done here with this area, so this coverage. So that's it. Let's go ahead and get gear down. Flaps down, and we are going to come in and put this puppy right where we need to be. One issue I'm having with this aircraft in this version, I have not been able to fix the tail hook issue. Uh, whenever I activate the tail hook, and I've done some tweaks to different things and tried to fool things, and I, uh, I end up getting a wing fold. My wings fold when I use that command, so it's probably in the model somewhere, and it may not be able to get sorted right away. Uh, I think the earlier software version of this aircraft, the tail hook was working, but so far with this one, I haven't been able to. So, uh, but we'll keep playing around with it. At some point, I might get lucky. So, well, I'm kind of slow. Weather's kind of shitty, so I'm getting bumped around a little bit. We've got three green on the uh, landing gear, flaps down, looking good. I'm a little high. I'm gonna coming off the throttle. Let her sink a little bit but not too much god damn the winds winds kicking my ass there we go getting almost committed now okay come on off the throttle that's a hard hit i would have blown up if that was real life but kind of just want to make this video so horrible landed but uh it's all about just showing you guys what's going on here with Orbit Spectre and Elevations and Payware Airport. So, anyways, oh, I'm losing control. Yep. So, horrible landing, too fast, too heavy, whatever. But that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. There, again, is the freeware aircraft that uh, I like to fly. Uh, ported into prepare 3d version 2 so uh, i'll put links to the stuff that uh, you guys might be interested in, in the video once it's done uploading so take care folks we'll see you later